Okay, so the trickiest part about this first bowl, it is not actually huge, but the problem is there's going to be shit on the ground that you need to dodge, and there's water and effects on the ground, right? So, just... Okay, we do have an offensive dispel, but the worst part about this this upcoming trash are the chill weavers. They do a icy shield. I don't know what it's called, some sort of shield. But it's a channeled cast and the shield is huge. We can just dispel it, right? Like uh Soul can just dispel it. But we want to make sure we kick them because that is what's gonna waste the time in here, right? Okay, I'm going to pull back. Whoops. Yep, okay, stepping on the egg, spawn well. Not a video, but okay, so technically, right, we're just gonna stay to the right as much as we can. We're gonna pull this chill weaver and the boss through the door. As long as we stay all the way to the right, we won't get well. guy does punch. It's line of sight so the chill weaver comes in here. Yeah. There are lots of mini bosses, and this is one of them. So she's gonna do a bunch of things. Number one, she's gonna pick somebody, put a circle on them. That person should get away from the group, right? We're all melee. We do not want that circle put on the boss. When the circle gets dropped, you then need to use a movement ability to get the fuck away from it. It's gonna suck all of us in and then explode, right? She's going to put a swirly under our feet, we just need to get out of it, and then there's going to be like a little ice trap, right? It just does damage, it's not a big deal. Then it's a big, like, uh, combo thing that she does. She's going to pick the farthest clutch of eggs, she's going to do beams to them, hatch the eggs, the whelps are going to come at me, right? I'm going to tank them. You think you want an AoE, but you don't. You want to stay single target on the boss. You're going to let me AoE until we break the shield on the boss. She's going to start AoE, like pulse AoEing on the group, and we can't do anything about it until we kick her, and we can't do that until we break the shield. Once the shield is broken, then we kill the eggs, or then we kill the whelps, right? Here we go. And it doesn't matter which way you get out, just like, it's fine, just make sure you're out of it. Alright. 
Get out. Just get away. And you're DPSing her? Still DPSing her? Breaking the sh Kick. AOE. Do you know if I vanish that, does does that break it or does it pass someone else? I'm not sure. Nice, Bove. It's pretty good. So with Blade Fury on, does it matter? No. That no, I kill them before? before? No. You should, okay. you should pop it right away. No. But if you have a choice, like... A demonology warlock should be casting chaos vault, not rain of fire. Right. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm not like messing with the mechanic by killing kill them first. No, honestly, they're putting a stacking uh, dot on me. If I get to ten stacks, I'm stunned and it's terrible. Okay, so this next mob is the worst mob in the whole place. It is Thunderhead. So there's a tank mechanic. It's like. Thunderjaw, he's gonna pump me, right? No big deal. The next one is Rolling Thunder. This is the healer mechanic. Two people get a debuff, you dispel one, heal the other. The other is this Frontal Cone Storm Breath. It ticks, but it doesn't matter because it one-shots. You need to stay as close as you can to the boss so that you can dodge it easily. Oh yeah, and then he does this thing where... Both these dragons, right? There's one over here, and then there's one on this side like do a circle around their little area. The fire one is not anywhere near as bad as this one. We do this one next because usually after this like RP we have like our cooldowns, right? Here we go. Get close. These quicklings are no big deal whatsoever. Like we're pretty much just leaving them and then ignoring them. If we pull extra, it's whatever. I'm like, they really do damage to me. Like, like. Storm Breath. This thing is the Pug Killer. Because, oh, whoa. I didn't expect that. somebody and they instantly release and they start uh you know flying up there the storm is going to point in their direction and they won't be able to get out there's nothing they can do okay so we have to kill each four of these sections of like ads the casters actually kind of suck and i'm actually gonna i would normally pull the, that that pad over there but i don't want to do that because i don't have any gear enough we can never stop this from happening right like this and like the the flame dance where they're they're dead and they do like swirlies on the ground anyway we just seen them die i don't know if it's different in mythic but before their flame dance was done oh really <laughs> see he's gonna finish that we just walk what so they have a shield, it looks like, that if you break it, they die.
There's gonna be a flame dragon soon. Waiting for him here. Okay, so we all stack behind the boss. She's going to pick one of us and put a giant red circle under us. We need to get out. But that's also going to be where the ad spawns. The ad has a couple casts, but only one of them is kickable. And we need to kick it. It is an AoE damage on the group, right? Um, the other thing is she's going to turn, look at somebody, and put a little swirly in front of her. The swirly is where the rock is going to land, but it is going to bowl in that direction, right? All of this leaves fire on the ground, so we don't want to stand in the fire, and the reason why we're all stacking is to try to control where the ad is, so that we can control where the fire goes. I guess just stay away from the inner circle, right, because there's still some ads there. Wait, there's still some ads, what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, so, if you look over here, right, we're never pulling these things. But see this guy cast, casting Storm Infusion? Like, he will aggro you if you get too close to him, but you shouldn't worry about that. Just try to stay to the outsides, I guess. I mean, it's you really got to be over there in order to get him. All right. There we go. Watch bolt.
This is already better loot than my warrior. I got four, four rings, rings and, and two chests. No, no, that's terrible. I was gonna say you didn't look like you did very well on your mythic zeros. No, I just got the same loot every single time. I, I got like doubles on both characters with this one, and they did it really, really like them. No gear share. Like I got as much as I did on the road. The rings wouldn't have been as bad, but you used save one slot for the uh, the one you farm anyways. Right, right, yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna go out there and do that on my alts, to be honest, because... I heard it's like four hours now. I think it did two. Well, when did you do I that? I was in group of five. That was like yesterday or the day before. It was longer than when I first did it. No, no, it's a it's a rep grind, and it's... I'll talk about it in a little bit, actually. Okay, we need to kick the caster on the way out. Thank you. Okay, so these little guys with the shields on them, right? We almost don't care about these guys. They're gonna pick somebody, put a swirly under them, and then jet in that direction, and when they do that, they explode and kill themselves. But as long as we're not in it, like, it's fine. Flash fire's bad. It's a heal. Uh, we're gonna focus on the high channeler, because it's terrible. I'll let the RP happen and then I'll explain it. So this is in effect two bosses, right? We have the Storm Vein, who is the Storm, and we have the Dragon, which is the Fire, right? When we kill one, the he stops doing his abilities. The abilities that Stormvein done, does is he does a wind that pushes us, and it actually pushes any fire on the ground that uh, the dragon puts there, right? He hits the tank, I think it's called Stormstrike. Um, it needs to be dispelled, it's going to keep doing extra damage if it doesn't get dispelled. It is brutal, right? Um, and he does an AoE silence. I forget what it's called, but there's like a warning on the screen. Uh, so you don't want to be casting when that goes off. Uh, the dragon spits fire in like a cone, and then he picks you, and then you kind of like erupt three patches of flame around you, right? We're going to do our best to dodge it, but to be honest, when the wind blows, it kind of pushes that stuff out of the way anyway, right? So we're going to be okay there. Um, we do want to target Stormvane and get him dead as fast as possible. He is the worst to the tank and the healer. The rest of it is just dodging fire. Okay, here we go. Interrupting cloud, obviously, is the... That needs to be dispelled. There we go. Watch out, watch out. Interrupting cloud. And this is where the real fight starts.
Easy. Did you do this before, Emma? Uh, just on the heroic. Every every healer that I know was has been like, "What the fuck with this boss?" Well, it was one of the hardest tonight so far. Yeah. Uh, it might be one of the hardest. All right, now we're going to Neltheris. Wait, actually, hold on a second. The worst one I did was the one with the slow, the Azure Vault, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that next. Actually, we need to do Azure Vaults and Alderman next because Paws did those already.